I know I have exactly one week till I move out. And it turns out I have alopecia. But I have to admit, it sucks. I did cry a little bit. Okay, um, today is packing day number, I don't know, I'm not really counting, but I know I have exactly one week till I move out, so I have one week to pack. And I've been just packing bit by bit, just clearing the wardrobe. I don't think I'm doing very effectively, which I am going to try to be more effective. I think this whole packing thing helps me to reflect on my purchases and why do I own so many things. I think year 2022 will be a year that I should be more minimal. But to be honest, I haven't really been buying things. I have, I mean, I, it's mainly like old clothes that I have since like 2002. 10 so it's just like a cumulative of stuff so it's either i need to stop buying shit or i just need to clear out my wardrobe like once in a while anyhow i ran out of boxes so i went to get more i'm gonna dedicate the rest of the evening for me to pack and just get all my shit done so let's get moving Setting up for the first workshop of the day, which is gonna be a painting workshop, sip and paint. And the girls are just learning how to distribute the paint. Fun time! Exciting! <laughs>
Okay, can I? Is this correct? This is my stem. Yeah. The middle four beats. It should be the four beats and then the middle one. Huh? So you did it the opposite way. Oh my god. Uh, Um, <laughs> um, I think you're somewhere... Am I stressing you out? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know you worked really hard on this. <laughs> and I'm not trying to undermine no, 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 your no, hard no. work. Oh, okay. I know what happened. Okay. It was my fault. Oh, oh, it was my fault. <laughs> so when you beat it through, mm -hmm. I went so that what? way, but you're actually supposed to go that way. Oh, okay. Oh. So now you add two of the two of the pink beads. Okay. Okay, this is it, guys. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, you made a flower. Good job. My first. Flower. I got it. Yeah. I got it. My first flower. So I got my first. I got my first bracelet done. This is mine. event and pop up we'll be having a little flower arranging on the side what a way to end sunday with all these really pretty flowers super excited for this one and we're just waiting for people to come in cleaning for 
the house. There's still a lot to be done. I mean, obviously these boxes are here. I have yet to unpack most of my items, but I did set up a, a vacuum just to like get things going. Also tried to wash like some of like the stains in the kitchen. I also got a bed today. So I think the most important is having a bed. And I bought this from Joey, it's not sponsored. I was actually contemplating between Joey or Sono mattress. In the end, I went for Joey just cause I feel like they're also more convenient in the sense of I could choose my delivery time. So it helps a lot, especially I cannot always just be home and wait for the delivery. So yeah, everything worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna unbox this, my mattress. Trust us, we are good bed. <laughs> so setting up your Joey mattress. Place the mattress at one end of your frame. Unfortunately, my frame is not here yet. I think it's gonna only be arriving end of April. Basically, all of my big furniture is delayed. I'm not gonna move too many things for now, but okay, we can we can always just place this bed on the floor. vacuum packed into this plastic. I will have to cut this layer off and just let it expand. Tonight's the first night that I'm staying at the new place, the new apartment. Be a big girl and be by myself. Yeah, I just feel like I haven't really been talking to you guys as much. Last week, I feel like a zombie. I've just been on auto mode, packing and running the Handmade Heroes event. Not really thinking much, just doing a lot. Actually, this entire month, I really wasn't thinking much. I was just doing a lot and I didn't really have like the time to process like my thoughts and my emotions. I think I got a little bit overwhelmed. I did not admit that I was stressed, but the fact that I think now, coming to think of it, I am actually, but it's all hidden inside. A week ago, I realized there's like a, a patch here. It's like a small little patch, but it's actually, it's actually, it's balling pretty fast. And I was like, okay, this is really unusual because if it's hair loss, it's usually gradually, but this is like a big patch, which happened in the span of probably like a week. So I actually went to see a specialist today for my scalp. And turns out I have alopecia. So alopecia is like an autoimmune disease with the whole like Will Smith. Will Smith incident recently, I'm pretty sure a lot of people kind of know what it is. Basically, you would just get random like ball patches or hair loss for no reason. Basically your body is just like attacking your cells or something like that. So yeah, I have that, um, but it's not severe and it's good that I found out early. So I have to get treated, but I have to admit it sucks. I did cry a little bit. It's not about the hair loss thing. I just feel like nothing feels like it's going right at the moment in my life or like I'm trying to get my shit together, but it's just not happening. 
if that makes sense. And while I am trying to get my shit together, there are like more problems arriving. So it's just kind of frustrating. Yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of like pent up like, oof, like emotions like inside. So, so I have to admit, I am stressed out, but hopefully um, things will get better. I mean, it's not like the end of the world. I'm like, Bella, you can't just cry about having a ball patch. Like people have like bigger problems in this world, but you know, again, it's just accumulative of like incidents and just, I guess just like frustrations. Yeah, I do keep reminding myself that no matter how small you think your problem is, sometimes it is valid to feel upset and it's valid to feel frustrated, sad, it's okay to have like all these negative feelings. So yeah. <laughs> so that's that. I'm positive. I think like this week is just like a rough week and it will get better. So yeah, thanks for hearing me rant and sure about this. I'm gonna call it a night. We have a really exciting shoot for him and here tomorrow, so. I can't wait. I can't wait to share more of what is happening in that shoot because we're actually launching something new. It's not something new, but it's like a collaboration. So it's gonna be an exciting one. And stay tuned for that. Have a good night. First round.